Hola everyone, Ian here, and today you probably notice I'm dressed a little nicer than usual. And that's actually due to two reasons. Reasons number one is right before I recorded this, I was actually at a charity function for a charity called Friends of the Children. They're an organization where I strongly believe in their mission, their goals, and what they want to do and what they are doing today. So please check them out, feel free to donate. I'll have the donation link in the description as well. And reason number two, is I have a copy from the International House of Pancakes and I came prepared. I'm dressed to travel. I've got my passport. I'm ready to be taken away to Flavor Town or across the world to some new flavorful country. So before we find out about that, we're gonna dive into IHOP's history, which I'll admit their history kind of feels like if you ask Chet, Chet GPT to write a company history for corporate America. So. IHOP, aka International House of Pancakes, was founded by Jerry Lapin, Lapin, Al Lapin, and Albert Callis with the help of investors Sherwood Rosenberg and William Kay. They opened their first location in Burbank, California, and opened a second and third location not too much later after that. Fifteen years later, in 1973, they took their long International House of Pancakes name and gave, shortened it up to the IHOP that we're familiar with today. And it was kind of cool. They released it with like a little animated cartoon kangaroo to kind of help people understand like the playfulness of their brand. Uh, in 2007, the IHOP Corporation acquired Applebee's for approximately $2.1 billion. And once they had Apple, Applebee's, they had their parent company that they were now both a part of renamed to Dine Equity in 2008. And in 2019, IHOP announced plans to launch a fast casual breakfast chain called Flipped. Unfortunately, Flipped flopped in 2023 with IHOP closing all of those locations. And as of current recording, they have currently 1,841 locations across the Americas, the Middle East, and South Asia. So they truly are international. I'm actually at this point surprised that they haven't done a partnership with Pitbull, aka Mr. Worldwide. But that's for them to make that decision. So let's take this International House of Pancakes, AKA IHOP signature blend. So this must be the blend they hang their hat on. Mix it with this Dakotian mug. See what we get.
got my freshly brewed IHOP coffee and the packaging this time didn't attract me. It was just happened to be on sale and I have eaten at high hops before. Don't remember their coffee being good or bad, but figured this one's freshly brewed at home, hasn't been sitting in a pot for hours and hours and hours. So it's fair to give it a fair shot, freshly brewed. And other thing I wanted to note is that I don't think that they make their own coffee because it does say on the packaging that it's distributed by the food giant known as Kraft Heinz. So that probably means there's some, some, some sub subsidiary somewhere that actually makes this coffee. Um, other than that, everything else is kind of like what you would expect from my hop. There's nothing that really stands out on it. As for the coffee itself, it's got a stronger scent than you'd expect for like, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to put this the right way, a national brands kind of main coffee i in my experience usually like a larger national brand their coffee is just like very watered down both in like flavor and scent so this is good i'm gonna i'm gonna call it good that it's got like a good stronger scent it smells like classic medium roast All right, yes, they nailed it. And by nailed it, I mean they didn't get <laughs> an oh yeah, this is, it's not like a oh yeah, oh bud, try this coffee. It's not, and oh, you know, try the coffee. Sorry, not an oh yeah coffee, but it is also not an oof coffee. This one is not one that makes me go like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> or like, an, uh, uh, uh. You know what I mean? <laughs> this one is, I feel like if, again, I, I'm gonna hate to lean back on the chat GTP joke, but I feel like if you had chat GPT make a coffee to represent Diner America, this is it. This is, this might unseat Folgers as like the most middle of the road coffee I've had so far, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, they have their niche. If you're going to IHOP for coffee, you're not really going there for the coffee. You're going there for that international, world-class experience of a pancake breakfast. That's what you're there for. So this one, sorry, it, it actually does. I have, I'm coming off of a, a caffeine buzz from that charity event, so I'm gonna keep it going. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing like a good caffeine buzz. All right, anyway. So IHOP gets a solid from me. It's, it's a higher end me. me. Uh, yeah, it's a totally Mac coffee. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to leave a link to that charity friends of the children below in the video here. I will also leave a link where you can pick up your own IHOP coffee as well as your own Decodian mugs. And until next time, see you next time.